I'm going to show you how you can set up an Ethereum-based treasury for your project in five minutes using Juicebox, which is a really powerful tool that allows you to accept funds from your community and then issue tokens and NFTs to reward those community members. Depending on how you can configure your project, you can allow for your community to redeem those tokens for a portion of the funds in the treasury, but you can also use those tokens for governance, uh, to gate a Discord server, or with other popular Web3 tools. What's also great about the protocol is it allows you to put rules and incentives and restrictions on how funds can come into your treasury and how funds can leave your treasury in the form of payouts, which is great because not only does it automate a lot of the bookkeeping work, which would normally come with running a treasury of this type, uh, but it also allows you to transparently signal exactly where funds are going to your community in advance of them actually leaving. There are a bunch of other little rules and parameters which you can configure, uh, and if you're looking for a detailed configuration guide, there will be a link in this description. But in this video, I'll show you how you can set up a super basic project so you can start accepting funds, and then you can reconfigure things later, which is great because it allows you to adapt your treasury as, as your needs change. So I'm going to be doing this on rinkb.juicebox.money, which is the test version of Juicebox on the, the Rinkb testnet. Uh, but to deploy this treasury to uh, the Ethereum mainnet, you'll need to go to juicebox.money. So start by connecting your wallet and click launch your project. This is going to take you to the project details page where you can put information about your project. I'm going to give it an example name and an example description so you can see the preview on the right hand side. I will upload a logo and I'll start putting in links to my project's website. Uh, let's just do juicebox.money for this example, uh, my Twitter handle, and my Discord server. And you can see how those links will look in the preview on the right hand side. Next, we'll customize what our project pay button says. So this is the button people click to actually contribute to your project. So for our purposes, let's say we want to do a donate and we want to warn people before they say they pay, and we'll say warning. This is a donation. All right, next we're gonna move on to actually configuring our project. Um, so for this video, I'm just gonna show you how you can get a super basic project up that you can change later. So we can ignore this stuff, don't worry about it. Um, for the token, uh, one thing you might wanna look at is if you want to allow for redemptions. So if you want people to be able to burn their tokens to reclaim a portion of the funds in the treasury, then you can toggle this on and set it to 100%, but if not, you can just leave this off and I wouldn't worry about the rest of this. And then we can head on to NFT rewards. Again, if you wanna set up NFT rewards, you can look into this, but you can also just deploy a project and add these rules later. Next, we're going to go on to the rules. We can leave all of these off. Um, and then we go to the reconfiguration rules. By default, there's a three day delay, meaning you need to submit a change at least three days before it's implemented, uh, which is helpful because it allows the community to see proposed changes before they actually take place. Uh, which helps people trust that you're not going to rug pull them. But if you need some extra flexibility and you want to adapt your treasury quickly, you can set this to no strategy. Uh, so we're going to save our rules. And next we're going to go to review and deploy. Um, and we're going to look over everything. We're going to read the terms of service, click check, and then deploy our project. Uh, in this case to Rinkby, but you might be deploying it to Ethereum mainnet. Our wallet's going to pop up. We can double check the transaction and click confirm. So our transaction is pending, and if we give it a second here, it will take us to our new project page. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, so it'll show us these options. Don't worry about this too much because you can do all of these things later. Uh, this is our project page, so people can contribute here, either denominated in ETH or in USD. Uh, you can see an activity feed on the right hand of payments as they come in. People can see information about your project. And importantly for you, if you connect the wallet which you use to deploy your project, you can scroll down here on the left side, click reconfigure, and change all of the parameters of your project so that as your community grows and what you need from your treasury changes, you can evolve your treasury to meet those needs. If you have any questions, join the Discord uh, <laughs> join join the Juicebox Discord server. It's uh, discord.gg slash juicebox, and there should also be an invite in the resources section on this website.